Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to modify the textures in Clone Hero. So, first you want to go to the link in the video description and download this zip file. What this zip file is, is a folder that has a little bit of directories to keep everything organized for you. It has the program you're going to use to import and export textures, as well as the textures for 23.1 already extracted and a backup data file for version 23.1, just in case things go wrong. So. Go ahead and open up the zip file and take this folder and drag it out put it on your desktop or wherever you'd like to have it saved go ahead and open this up and you should have these three files here so we're going to go over what each of these contains textures contains a few directories to keep things that you are working on organized so you can have the exported textures here which are textures that you've taken from the data file and take or export it out Modded textures are texture files that you've modded, and Photoshop files to save whatever files that you're currently editing. Uh, there's also a default textures folder for version 23.1, which has all of the textures currently extracted. So whenever you're looking through the list and you can only see the names in the data or the asset extractor, you can come here to see what the images are for each name. For example, the actual texture sprite atlas for all the textures in game. Uh, is right here called SACTX. This contains your textures for literally everything that you see whenever you're playing the game. The notes, the signs of the highway, your solo percent box, your uh, countdown timer window, your modifier window, the star power bar, literally everything that you see. Score box, everything. So we are going to go back and go into the data files. This one has a folder for your complete mods. You can store your data files of the complete mods and the texture files if you want to have them separated. You have uh, the default data file for version 23.1 right here, in case things go wrong. And you can save your projects here. And you have a unpacked folder, which we will get to in a minute. So this here is the program you're going to be using to import and export textures. I'm going to open it up and go to Asset Bundle Extractor. And then we are going to click File and Open. And go to your Clone Hero folder and Clone Hero Data. And then you see data.unity3d. I'm going to click on Open. And it'll ask you to unpack it. Click on Yes. Go back to that folder and go into Data Files and click Unpacked. And here we are going to save the unpacked bit of the data file. So you can name it whatever you'd like, it does not really matter. So I'll just name mine one. And then you should see Global Game Managers. Go ahead and click on Info. Scroll down to 2018.3.0.f2. Now once this is open, here are all the files for the game inside of the game data. Now go ahead and click Type two times to filter for an alphabetical order. Then go down to the T's. We're looking for Texture 2D. These are all the files that you can edit that change the uh, textures in the game. So you have the logo for the game and everything here. So right here is that sprite atlas which has all the textures. It's called set or SACTX 2048-4096. You're going to click on it, make sure it is highlighted, then click on plugins, and click export to PNG. And then we're going to go back to the Clone Hero Modding Tools folder, go to the textures, exported textures, and just save that there. And now that that is done, go ahead and close this window here and close this window here. So now if you go to the textures and export it, you should see the texture file right here that you just took out of the game data. Now we're going to open up whatever image editor you'd like to use. For me, I use Photoshop CC 2019. I'm going to let that open. There we go. And now we are going to take the image file and drag it into our photo editor. Now we are going to create another layer and put it behind the sprite atlas and make it black. And now we can see the texture is a lot easier with the background. So here you can see, for example, there are the flame sprites. There are eight frames for each, uh, well not for each, but for the flames, there's eight frames that they go through, which is the animation that you see. As well as the star power notes, there's one for each frame of the animation, which there are 16 for star power notes. So if you wanted to change the flame animation to like Guitar Hero 3, for example, you would have to get each frame of the animation and make sure that they are in order. Uh, there are a couple, like right here, this is number seven, and over here, 
you can barely see it right there. That's the leftover bit from the eighth frame of the flames. So if you're having issues and you want to make a flame modification and you're having trouble finding out which order they go in, if you go into the community discussions tab in the Clone Hero Modding Discord, which there will be a link to down below, I have two images here. One of them links, or one of them shows the flame textures in order from frame one to eight, and the other one here shows the base of the star power notes from when I was mounting the Guitar Hero 3 theme uh, in order, so you can overlay this onto your sprite atlas and see them in order. Now keep in mind that every or nearly every update, the sprite atlas will change everything around. And, uh, there's no real order for anything, it's just everything in a random location for the game to pull out the textures from. So everything might be in a different place for a later update. So this may look different for you in the future. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and make a very simple modification. We are going to change the brightness of the star power glow on the star power bar whenever it's ready to activate. So this texture right here is the texture that appears whenever your star power is ready to activate and gives it that bit of a glow on the end of the meter. So we are going to select layer one. I'm going to make a few duplicates of this just to make it a bit brighter. And you want to make sure that they are lined up. There we go. And we're going to make another duplicate and do the same thing. Here we go. That's pretty bright compared to how it was. So now that we're done with that, you're going to delete the black background, go to save as, go to PNG, and we are going to go to the textures folder and go to modded textures and save this to as star power glow. So now that that is done, we can close out of these and then go into the clone hero modding tools folder go into the asset extractor once more go into asset bundle extractor again you'll see this program again click on file and open and from here go into your clone hero data folder once more and go to your data.unity3d and open it once more it may ask you to unpack it again just go ahead and I uh, unpack it to the same location, which is in the Clone Hero Modding Tools, Data Files, Unpacked, and just replace the one that you made before. It doesn't really matter if you replace that one again, you can make a new one, or export it wherever, as long as it lets you get to this window again. So, go ahead and click on Info, scroll to the very bottom, and in here we see all the files again, we're going to do click Type two times. Go down to the textures, and we're going to find SACTX, I think it is. Somewhere in here. There we go. SACTX. Click on it, and go to plugins, and click edit. Click OK. Click on load. And then we're going to find the modded texture folder or file that you just made. So go to modding tools, textures, modded textures and you'll see the one that you just saved here. Click on open, click OK, and OK once more on this window. Now this will freeze the program for a second while it's importing the texture. That's completely normal. Just wait a few seconds and these two windows should disappear once it's complete. There we go. And go up to the top left, click on file and save. And click on file, save once more. And go into your clone hero folder, clone hero data. And now, whenever you save it, if you try clicking on the Data Unity 3D file and just try overwriting it, it will tell you that it won't work because it is currently open in the Asset Extractor. So, what you're going to have to do is go to Save, click on the data file, and just add a 2 to the end of this name. Go ahead and click on Save, and we can close this now. Now we're going to go to our Clone Hero folder, Clone Hero Data, and we will see the two Unity 3D files. So what we're going to do is take the original one and either move it into a backup folder like I have done for my previous mods, or we can just delete it like this, right click on this one, or rename it, and remove the two. So that way it's the main file. And now we have the modded data file in here. So we're going to click on clone hero and see our modification in game. So now once you get star power, you should see that the glow on the bar is a bit brighter. And there we 
we go. So now that you know how to modify textures, you can go ahead and create whatever mods you'd like to or change whatever you'd like to in the game. Uh, in the future, I am going to be making a video showing you how to update mods from older versions into the current version of the game. So that will be done relatively soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully it's helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like. Thank you for watching and good luck.